A thread by Carlos Osuita for Nicole P. I have good news for you. It'll make you admire Donald Trump even more. Nicole tweets, I know progressives who are convinced Portland is going to become another Tiananmen Square. I have conservative friends who want to see that happen. Therein lies the problem. Carlos responds, today, Governor Gavin Newsom of California gave a press conference on the pandemic and he got pushback. A reporter asked the following, how much of the current spread of the disease is your fault for not following through on any of the promises you made to contain flare-ups? California did nothing that Trump asked. And when LA gave its press conference, the city council admitted that that spread of the disease was caused by the protesters. I was listening to KFI AM 640. The reporter is Steve Gregory. He said that when he attends these press conferences, he monitors Facebook. Californians absolutely hate the state and local governments and blame them for everything. Gregory said that if the state tries another full lockdown because it allowed protests, there's going to be a revolution. I listen to local radio in all of the blue states. Same thing. They blame Democrats and will never trust them again on anything. The Democrats have utterly screwed themselves as Trump knew they would. Nobody sane cares about Trump wearing a mask. Trump's critics on both sides are looking at the world through a drinking straw. Democrats are all about empty symbolism. So Trump tosses them a symbolic bone and they think, ha, we bent him to our will. And they miss the fact that their former supporters are leaving them in droves. I spoke to my accidental adoptive son today as I told him he doesn't have esophageal cancer. He has stomach ulcers and esophagitis. Both are curable. Those are the last of his chronic health issues. We mostly talked about philosophical issues. We marveled at how far we've come in so short a time. My neighbor, in whose house I live, was six years old when the airplane was invented. She was 72 when the first human walked on the moon. I've seen incredible changes in my 58 years. When I was six, the USSR existed. There were fighting in the Vietnam War. We hadn't yet walked on the moon and the world hadn't heard the name Trump. My sixth year was the year that Donald John Trump decided that he was going to save the world for its sake, not his. Nobody has ever actually tried that, you know. It was never even seriously considered. People tried and are still trying to conquer the world, but nobody ever tried to save it. What's Trump's secret? He's the greatest psychologist of all time, for one. And he understands that if you posit certain factors, the outcome is inevitable. Trump took the time to learn how to make inevitable outcomes. He studied patterns. That's the third secret, recognizing patterns. If you know what to look for, you'll see the patterns and you'll know you're on the right track. This can't be taught. It must be learned. And there's only one way to learn. You must be scrupulously honest with yourself about yourself. Those of us who've gone through this process don't talk about it in details. We can't make ourselves understood. And besides, it doesn't apply to anyone else. My learning process is completely different than that of Trump. My guess is that his motivation was to find out why he was driven to save the world. My motivation was to find out why I always chose destructive predators. In both cases, we had to know the truth. We couldn't kid ourselves. In my talk with my accidental adoptive son today, he spoke of eternity expanding outward and I spoke of eternity going inward. For example, take a stick of chewing gum, cut it in half, then cut one half in half, and so on. You will never come to the end. Isn't that amazing? So simple, but so mind-blowing. 
Trump and I ended up on opposite poles. He became ultra social and I became a hermit. But we went through the same process and came to the same ability to be utterly truthful about ourselves. And Trump is much smarter than I am. His goal was to save the world, so he had to study every single possible outcome. My goal was to save myself. Both Trump and I achieved our goals. Saving the world, of course, requires tons of strategic deception. I didn't have to deceive anyone, but the worm has turned. Democrats are doomed. They sowed the wind, and now they're reaping the whirlwind. Gavin Newsom is panicking. Guess what he's doing now? Allowing barber shops and nail salons to open outside in closed off streets. Have you ever heard of anything crazier in your life? And nobody blames Trump. <laughs> nobody playing with a full deck. This is a normal distribution. The people on the far right and far left are deranged. Time to start ignoring them. There aren't enough of them to matter and you'll never change their minds. Try to not be on either the start or the finish of the curve.